Hey everybody, Michael Crump here, yet again, covering all the latest and greatest PlayStation 4 homebrew news. And one of the recent releases that I saw was there is the ability now that if you have a Sega Saturn game, then you can create a PlayStation 4 package with it so you can play your Sega Saturn game directly on your PlayStation 4. And the whole reason that we have this today is simply because this PlayStation 4 game shipped with an emulator already on it to play these Cotton games. Now, what the community has done is they've taken that emulator back off of the disc and now they've allowed you to run other games using that same emulator. And now this isn't the very first time the homebrew community has done something similar to this. I found that in Nintendo, hackers also cracked a Switch release and they also found another Sega Saturn emulator inside of it. And again, in the Switch scene, similar to the PlayStation 4 scene, folks have taken that emulator and then they've put in their own custom ROMs in order to play them. Now, you may be asking why use these Saturn emulators versus maybe something such as RetroArch or one of the other various Sega Saturn emulators. Well, in my opinion, these emulators that are being shipped with these commercial games have at least been tested somewhat to run on the desired platform. Well, sure, you get a lot of folks that is working and building open source uh, emulators like on the net or whatever, they don't necessarily have the same sort of standards that maybe a game company may have when they release a game. So something such as like Q&A and testing and play testing. Uh, there's a variety of different employees that's typically involved when a game comes out that's making sure that quality is of the utmost highest standard before they ship the game. So try it and see how well it works. And the other links that I have is I have this link, which is to PSX Hacks, which describes this in a little bit more detail. They also have some pre-built packages, but obviously we won't be using those. We just want to go ahead and make a backup of one of our own Sega Saturn games. And then finally, if you're looking for where to download this, it's right now it's hosted over on Mediafire, and I'll leave a link to this in the description. Let's go ahead and switch over to Windows Explorer and check this out. Okay, so hopefully you've already downloaded the file that I linked in the Mediafire.com website. Here is where that file is on my machine, and then I've went ahead and I've extracted it into the default folder here. So I also have a game, and it is called Sega Rally Championship. Now, this is one of my favorite games that came out for the Saturn, so I decided I wanted to give this one a shot again. And the way the file format looks for Sega Saturn games is you typically have this .qcue file as well as all of the different bins. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to head back to Saturn and we're going to go back into Saturn and the fake package generator. There is an executable here that's just called Saturn-FPKG. I'm going to right-click this. We're going to run this as an administrator. So the first thing it's asking for is for the disk. And then we're going to go into our game. So Sega Rally Championship is going to be mine. And we're just going to select the .q file. We're going to press OK. And the next two options is for the icon and for the background. Obviously, you can go out and you can use Google Images or something of that nature in order to find an icon and a background of the game. I'm just going to let the default one be applied here. And then finally, there is this NP title. Now, this NP title, this needs to be a unique title. So let's go into Randomize NP Title. And I'm just going to press it a couple of times. And then finally, for the title of the game, it's going to be Sega Rally Championship. So once that's complete, we're going to go ahead and click on Create, our fake package. And for my instance, I'm just going to put this into the Saturn folder and press OK. And now sit back 
and it should do all of the work. Okay, so the package has been created. Back over in Windows Explorer, we're going to go back to just Saturn, and we can see there is the PKG file. So at this point, you can go ahead and you can copy this over via USB or through FTP. Okay, so back over on our PlayStation 4, let's go ahead and let's switch over to settings and let's go up to gold in and then package installer. And the package that I just created is actually this package. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit the X button. Okay, it says it is ready to use. Okay, <laughs> I'm about to relive some of my childhood. I love the icon, uh, the default icon that it gives you. So Sega Saturn. So now I'm already kind of wanting to come back in here and update the icon and probably the background with actually the artwork with Sega Rally Championship. So let's try this now. Sega Saturn, there's the background that it would normally show if you had put one in. And okay, nice. So it says button configurations. I think one of the most important ones to learn here is, is that the game reset is down at the bottom, which is X, O, R2, and options. Okay. I love it. Oh, wow. This brings back a lot. So let's see. I'm going to hit the options button to start. Okay, arcade. Arcade's what I want here. A practice round here. Let's go with the default car. And we're going to go easy. Go to the desert. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's been so long since I've played this. I don't know if I've got the right buttons. Uh, let's see. Nope. Oh, oh, there you go. That changes the... Uh, that changes the view. Okay. Wow. You know, I just remember this game when it first came out. I was so blown away by how good that it looked. And now coming back and playing it, you know, many, many, many years later, all thanks to this Sega Saturn fake package file, uh, I definitely miss it. So here we go. Um, there's also a bunch of other really awesome Sega Saturn games. I think Castlevania is one that's on here. Obviously, there's like a million Sonic games uh, that's in here as well <clears throat> that you can go and you can go check out and you can convert to this package. Um, I would be interested if somebody tries some other games to maybe leave those into the comments below. It's got the cows hanging out right here. I would like to see if this, if it, how well that it works with, uh, with some of the other like types of games. I need to go back through the collection and look and determine uh, what games that I might have missed. Well, that's it for now. Thank you so very much for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Michael out. <laughs>